Found by blood, 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 divided by material possessions. The sister, once noble, threw away, away her integrity. A once respected sibling, now, now turned petty thief. Bread, so sweet and cherished, plucked from the fridge and hidden beneath cloth. Faced with her morality by a thread, the sister chose to abandon truth and embrace deception. When the brother finds out, surely their relationship will never be the same. executed their plan and found the bread they held so dear. And it's just, oh sorry, it was just, just revenge acts as always. always. Joshetta awoke the next day with none of her bread remaining. Joshetta wept, wept secretly, secretly, for just as she stole so swiftly and lied so easily, well, her last good is good not worth her lack of integrity.
since, since the incident, incident the two have, have avoided each other as much as possible. It's, it's been a tea all around the school. The school hasn't been the same since. Well, I don't 
remember hearing some strange noises downstairs, so I went to go see what they were. Then, when I got downstairs, I saw my daddy's dead body soaked in blood on the floor and saw feet, feet slid up the chimney. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Objection granted. The prosecution team calls key witness Santa to the stand. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So, I was doing my usual delivering presents when I saw this little girl murder her father. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. And she thought and threatened me that if I were to say anything, the same would happen to me. That's crazy. I would never kill my own daddy. Quiet! Now, I need to hear both of your alibis. Santa, you first. <laughs> I'm so busy, I would never have the time to kill a man. Why would I kill my own daddy, the only family I have left? And why is he the only family you have left, sweetie? I don't want to talk about it. Under penalty of the law, you must speak, child. My mom and dad are childbirth. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! This whole court thing is a hoax. She is an unlucky child. I think it's obvious you won here. Clearly it was me. No, it was clearly me, you liar. It was me, you deceitful child. The court finds Prince or the orphan to be guilty. Santa, oh. you're a liar. You murdered my daddy and framed me for it. Ho, ho, ho. You never stood a chance, sweetie. So you meant to murder? I never said that. You shouldn't accuse people of being stating. But you did it. I saw it. I must have order in my court. Now the case is final, so sleep with it. Nobody will ever know. was sentenced to jail for life, though Even it was actually her father Santa who killed her father due to the fact that he was seen without his full costume, a pillow to make him look more horky than normal. No one ever found out the truth about December 24, 1875. Santa went on making his deliveries, careful to make sure the pillow never fell out of his suit again. Meanwhile, Judge Vixen, overwhelmed with guilt, secretly released Prancer, and she went undercover as an elf, hoping to one day get vengeance for her father. From a lifestyle funded by dark money, a love is founded in stealing. A businessman's daughter had fallen in love with the very person who was stealing from her. After months of loss, all was to be unveiled at his beloved's wedding. Where the confrontation drenched in blood meets the cold water, our story begins. From there, details unfold from behind the money. Civil conflict plays no role on the waters of deception. All right, thank you. All looking good. David, um, I just got off the phone with the bank. Why am I missing ten million dollars? Listen, I, I can explain. I made your career. I did all of this for you. And for what? What could possibly be worth that much money? Listen, Alex, I've fallen in love with your daughter. I took the money for us to start a new life together. You tell me this the night of my daughter's wedding? She's so unhappy here. Your son-in-law is the worst person for her. And you can't stop us. We leave tomorrow. Oh. You think you can leave? You're stuck on a boat with me. Uh, well, if you don't let me go, I'll just call the police. And we both know what would happen if I were to do that. And that's why you're not going to leave this room. Alex, what are you doing? See, you're too much of a liability. 
So make sure you don't mess up any plan of mine. I'm just going to stay here. And as for my daughter, a father always knows best. No. No, don't leave me here. Don't leave me. You won't get away with this. The two souls departed each other's company, their faith in themselves diminished. The young, young apprentice, apprentice never saw the light of day again, yet his, yet his masters lived, lived with the blood forever on his hands. Though the lie that hurt the man's wallet was sizable, the aching in his heart lasted forever as he recalled the young man's life in which he took. <laughs> 